Alright lads, we're back for another Dragon Ball Sparking Zero video on the Brad Mouse channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a movies team. What's the matter with you? You scared? So obviously we start with Garlic Jr., Turles, and Cooler. Soon you will know the wrath of the immortal Garlic Jr. But this is a ranked match. Uh, that's the reason why we don't have more uh, movie villains on a team, the DP and stuff like that. So we're against the uh, Vegito player. I'm pretty sure this guy's running full fusions. Correct if I'm wrong. This is from um. This was a, this was a replay that I saved when I was still reloading the game. So if you see any misplays or like anything that's like a bad move then <laughs> I do apologize but again after focusing on my job for longer than I intended uh it basically at that point was just like I need to you know relearn the new get the game's text and stuff well the game crash holy crap so if you're wondering what uh, Garlic Jr. has got going, he has a projectile, he has a grab, which is which throws a lot of people off. Because people do not expect it to be a grab, they expect it to be a rush attack. But because they expect it to be a rush attack, it's uh, they try and block it, but it's a grab, grabs are blockables. So one thing I don't like about Garlic Jr. is the fact that because he's bulky, he has, um, he has the slow grab. Looks like it's and you don't know what a slow grab is, it's basically a, a grab you need to most uh, bulky or giant characters, giant mode character. Uh, where there's like a big delay and a visual effect on the screen to let you know that they're grabbing. You like Goku has one as well. Uh, well there's Peep the combo with Talus by the way. Oh cool little combo. But yeah, Turles is one of my favorite character movie villains. Like, we're a Saiyan, like a, a, a Saiyan from the movie Tree of Might. He has so much sauce, and I just love the aesthetic he carries. Like, he's the original evil Goku, or Goku Black was uh, widely popularized. Also, ah, I, I completely forgot I did that. The way I was, like, zooming in with all the key blasts, like, snagging him back, that looks sick. Yeah, my main plan with Turles was just hyper aggressive, keep the pressure up. That's a stage destruction, I love it. And the way the smoke like wraps around the character, actually. Yeah, obviously, again, my timings were off point. Also, oh, yeah, shout out to that uh, un uh, basically unknown mechanic where you, if you dash and hold block, you nullify some amount of damage. You don't forget that's a mechanic. This is it. And we made him hold the ring of fire, as I like to call it. I know what I know it's not what it's called, but you know. Oh, he swaps out here. Goes into Hercule. Uh, the only reason I can think of as to why Hercules here is to either number one, bloat. Or number two, you know, to make a full leverage of, uh, you know, the cost system, because Hercule cost was one. Victory is mine. Die. I love Turles is old. It's so brutal. Absolutely. We take out to cooler now, so that way you can keep up the aggression of Hercule. I see you. I tried to hit him with that, but that move is actual garbage, so we end up not hitting it. Now, Cooler's base form is a little iffy, as with most base forms, but <laughs> on rare occasion you'll have a really good one. <laughs> Excuse me. So, but the thing is with the Freezer Clan and like, you know, characters from Freezer Family, their key blasts are really strong in the sense that they can reach from very far across the map. You can tell this guy has no idea how to really, uh, use Vegeta, because the way you're meant to use Vegeta is after you land this, you pop full power and then land it again. Like that is the that is the best way to utilize his super attack damage. Well, I pop a high tech here, I'm not really sure why. It wouldn't really benefit me in any way. Here we go, vanish battle. 
Um, I kind of wish we got this, uh, you know, sparking mode version of the future of ruins as a separate stage. I really like the aspect of it. Yeah, like, I, I just stopped at that point because... I didn't want to waste time just manage battling every few minutes of the year. So Caught him there, love to see it. It's over. Oh, so here we go, here we go. I think we connect this because when we transform with freezes uh, with Cooler here, I think we get all our key back. So I decided to try and land this. Yeah, we do. Let's go. Again, cool is another I character I really love. Oh. I don't know why we popped this. I was assuming he'd stand still. But... So yeah, if you ever have a character that has the full power, uh, the full power uh, skill, or any kind of skill that gives them full key, make sure you pop those after you land like a rush attack or any kind of super attack, because you can string together super like really easily in that instance. Or if you wanted to be really bold, pop it after an ultimate attack lands, and then use a super attack. We lose Cooler here because we get chip damage from the key. He decides to attack into Gogia, who's healed quite a bit. But he decides to try and pop up the ultimate, the free ultimate gauge. And here is where he completely gives up. Like, all this glamour, he gives up. And what I mean by that is he just starts cheating. <laughs> like, unapologetically cheating. Like, he just decides to pull out the full 9 yards. He launches an ultimate, he spams key blasts to try and chip us down. Like, he just completely and utterly... Also, shout out to the game, making you lose track. So he believes because we hit the revenge counter, or met with the grab, we're exposed. So, we're going to the ultimate. Again, we took so much damage on this. Again, he's just full panic in here, like at this point. Like he's bowing key blast, he's just trying to secure the W in any way he can against this team. Which is really funny, all things considered. Considering just a moment ago he was playing perfectly fine. Alright, he sidesteps here. What's this? I shall land this again. But now we get to land the stamina bray. Then we get to kill him. Wait, I didn't go for the grab this time. I wanted to try and secure the kill here. But now all he has is Vegito and Hercule. I'm attacking this Hurlis here because he has more health. Just in case the game considers that the winning uh, thing. Wants to try hitting with like Flash here, we ended up hitting him a little bit. There we go, we win. Very, very scary match, but we managed to pull uh, pull up for the um, for the occasion. Uh, I think we can go for one more. Let's go for one more. All right, this one has no music because I had to go out and um, yeah, I had to go in and turn off the background music. So I'm probably just putting some dark music here or something. You would dare to stand in my way? Yeah, I, I just edit the music out here, because copyrighted. This guy initially was not here, because his UI Goku just is free diamonds. Yeah, this guy is uh, UI Goku incarnate. <laughs> he, tries, he tries to go for the grab despite being turned around, I never noticed that before. We freeze him in place here. Except for the grab. If the guys has a grab, then it's hit. Yeah, Garnet Jr. is huge, all things considered. Like, 
Genuinely? Something beyond my strength limit. Uh, yeah, all things considered, Alex Jr. is massive. Like, I think he's one of the, he's one of, if not the biggest character in the game. Well, outside of giants, obviously, but like, outside of normal playable characters, I think it's the biggest. Between him and Broly, I, I, I might do a comparison video. Take this. He's very, very defensively strong, this guy. He hits us with the perception there. So Again with the sonic sway. Take this. Ground pound. Now we can transform get our key back. Let the blood bath commence. Take Alright, I think he dodges it. Oh, he doesn't knock out. Now we just execute. Alright, now he has Vegito. Now, if you know anything about a UI Goku plus Vegito player, it's that they're not playing these characters for fun. <laughs> Let's just get that out of the way. A Vegeta could transform into Super Vegito, who has a uh, you know, he has Ash on his strike, he's one of if not the most powerful uh, technically. Decide to try and uh, percept in there, but I got a bit too patient. Thank you, Ducks. Apologies for the abrupt cut. Uh, we had someone had to, had to go and answer the door. Someone knocked up. Oh. But yeah, he went into Super Vegito, unsurprisingly. I think I touched this. No, I don't. I don't. Then we get Talus back in, Talus to go. And without even resorting to all our combos at this point. We both go high tension here. I fully expect him to just. He's even going to spam keep mass. He's going behind. I think this connects. It does. I still think this is one of the worst ultimates in the game. The reason for that is because it just lacks so much impact. Money. Especially considering what we had before. It's just so floaty and slow. This here? Oh, it clashed. That was the plan. That was the right plan to do, I think. Oh my god, the tank dodge. I never I completely forgot I managed to pull that out. But surprisingly, I only just noticed this, but this guy did not, um... Yeah, this guy did not stay in Super Vegeta. He could have to get after the strike, but he hacked the... He transformed to the Gito Goro, which is... Mildly respectable, but... It is what it is. You could, you could very well still do, especially when it's... Now, we're behind him here. Do you guys think this lands? Like, right behind him? Yeah, can I uh, can I get a slow mo replay on that? Like a super slow mo. We were behind him, and he still connects his ultimate attack. See, now we're in a very tough spot. Cool is almost dead. Turles is almost dead, and he still has one bar HP. This is it comes down to the wire at this point. I went high tension, like, immediately, because he had, like, no room to snap me. I blocked that just in time, he froze there, so... He could have very easily used the super block. He finished it, but... Yeah. Deflect that. 
Realistically, I probably should have popped over here to clash with him, maybe. I think we connect this. Oh no, we don't! We get the, um... We get the stamina break and win. Very, very lucky from my end. Yeah, you guys have to let me know what you, think, what you thought of that. Uh, honestly, this team is quite... What the... What... What, what is happening? What are they doing back there? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, let me know what you think of the team with the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. And they just start having gay sex for like two seconds. Fuck it out.